what is going on guys we are talking fear the walking dead blood in the streets and the beginning of this episode i was like what the fuck is nick doing because we see nick covering himself in blood once again but in i thought it was in there were, he was in mexico but he's in a certain area where it's deserted of course and we find out he meets up with this guy now this guy is like he's, he's he just has a bunch of briefcases. He's stylish. Uh, he tells Nick, you better wash your ass before you get in my nice car. Oh, you know, it's like, scratch his bastard. Um, so I'm like, what the fuck is going on in here? Uh, of course, that happens later on because I'm just going to really talk about what I liked and what I disliked about the episode because not much of a recap because it's, it's already been a couple days. I did watch it the day it premiered, uh, but I, I was a little bit too lazy to review it. Um, we find out about Strand's kind of past and how he is kind of a con not a con man kind of con man and uh but he's more mostly just you know he jacks shit he jacks shit from this guy he met at the bar i felt like there was a little too much chemistry there and then i found out that, yeah there is chemistry there <laughs> um we that strand's lover uh strand is gay he's a gay character in fear of the walking dead which I think they do. I think the only other gay character in the Walking Dead universe uh, that they've introduced is oh no, they've they introduced quite a bit. So that's good. That's good. It doesn't. It honestly didn't matter. Um, so Strand basically, yeah, he steals from this guy who ends up being his lover and also business partner, and they have they. I believe they. I couldn't really remember what kind of stuff they're really kind of talking about. Like what, 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 what like the, they're in a business, and he has to, like, uh, how do I put it? He has to try to. He has to go when a zombie apocalypse happens. He has to close out some accounts or some shit like that. So he goes. He closes out some accounts. He says he'll be back. Um, so that's the guy. His lover is basically the guy he's going to meet up in Mexico. Uh, even when Nick came and uh, got the guy's assistant, he's like, "Oh, what do you mean?" all of us like it was only supposed to be strand you know um so that was, they're not expecting this whole group of people but strand story i think it's uh applies i think i think strand is not he is a con man he they're throwing shade at this character but overall i think he has uh you could tell you know when you could tell when he's um uh he has a heart as well you know he has a heart as well uh, it seems like he he's doing he, he's not he's still shady you gotta watch out for strand but overall i think he is trying to rescue uh everybody else uh the whole crew travis and everybody and speaking of travis and everybody speaking of alicia the guy she talked to in the fucking radio ends up barging in and ends up taking over the fucking ship uh strand goes running away but then they shot at his raft and now he's like pretty much sinking in the water um but we see all these guys come in, take over, waiting for this particular leader to come. Uh, they're waiting for the boat to actually start, but they're waiting for a leader as well to come. And uh, one, of, one of the guys was such a douchebag in the episode. I wanted him to fucking die so bad. He was such a... I didn't like him acting-wise and character-wise. <laughs> well, I guess acting-wise, he did a really good job because I really hated this guy. And I wanted him to die, like right away uh it kind of looked like in this episode but uh, we saw in a preview that no he's not dead so um and then we overall you know it, it was overall the the episode was pretty it was pretty good it was pretty good uh there was nice little moments there was nice like what the fuck moments like with nick like i didn't get what nick was trying to do but then it all came together so it was good that they kind of had it all over the place until it it all made sense towards the middle and the end uh learning about strand was really cool because i wanted to learn more about strand strand is starting to become uh one of the best uh, one of the the best characters in the show so far uh but um just overall the story some of the stupidity in some of these characters' ideas makes me just like, ugh, especially with Alicia and what she, you know, Strand told her. Strand told her. Um, <clears throat> I still love uh, Daniel. Daniel was a beast. <laughs> he was about to whoop some ass any minute now. Uh, so they take, they do take uh, Alicia and they take Travis. So they have to go rescue Alicia and Travis. Um, and I, I don't know if they, did they grab, I don't think they grabbed Strand yet. <clears throat> but overall, it was a pretty good episode. Uh, you, if you guys seen it, you guys already judged it. I thought it was a pretty good episode. It wasn't too bad. Uh, it was, a, you know, it was. It was actually a pretty good episode. And that's good. Let's keep the momentum going. As long as the momentum keeps going, I'm happy. So I'll 
I'll be able, I'll watch Sunday's episode because this episode kind of leaves me intrigued and interested of what happened. You know, how are they going to rescue Travis and uh, Alicia? Hopefully, it's nothing stupid, <laughs> but it's getting better. It's getting better, so that's good. All right, I'm Dan Megan and Son. Thank you guys for listening. And until next time, till we talk to Fear, the Walking Dead. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment below. Love to hear you guys' thoughts. I'm out of here. I gotta go to work. See ya.